Hi everyone, I'm Michelle. Welcome back to my channel. This week I have a secret to share with you. No, literally, this is Secret by Veltress in the color Mocha with Cream. I am very excited to review this long, heat-friendly synthetic uh, lob with you. I love that kind of a style. And in fact, later in my video, I will compare Secret to uh, Drive by Ellen Villa and Own the Room by Gabor. We will look at those three styles side by side and do a little bit of a comparison. Um, but first, I wanted to mention, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe down below, like and comment, and we'll get started. So Secret here is just a gorgeous mid-length bob style. Absolutely gorgeous, and the fibers just feel buttery, soft, really beautiful. Um, and she has some face framing layers, not a lot, not as much as Own the Room, which we'll see later, but a little bit here and there. And you can see she comes with quite a bit of um, flipped ends, both uh, in the front and in the back. And I will absolutely want to relax some of these flips a little bit. They will naturally over time relax as well. But I like to use a hot air brush when the styles come this way, just to relax that a little bit. And that will make uh, the style look longer as well. Um, she has a lace front, an extended lace front, and you can see it's extremely well done. Um, we have those lighter fibers in the front, which really help. I am noticing that it's pretty thick where the dark fibers start, the knotting, and I'm seeing a little bit of a line there. Of course, we still have that zigzag parting in place, but when I change that part line and steam the fibers away from the face, I will look at that. I think I will want to add some um, matte eyeshadow to make this look a little less uh, of a stark line here and uh, that that should really help with that otherwise plucking is also an option but it's it might not bother you it bothers me just a little bit right there so um, we'll do that together definitely and let's go ahead and get a good look at her from all sides here she is from the right and the back and the left so absolutely beautiful. I can easily see this becoming a go-to style for me. Um, I just love this color and uh, this kind of a, a heat-friendly, long, sleek style. It's just beautiful. So next, we will go ahead and we'll look at the cap construction. Then we'll change that part and steam it in place and steam the fibers away from the face and get a good look at this uh, front hairline there. Uh, then we'll compare uh, secret to drive and to own the room. We'll look at some styling options for secret. And lastly, I'll take her outside so we can get a good look at this beautiful color and style in natural light. So here we have the cap construction for secret. First, I'll remove this piece of silicone scar tape that I like to place on the underside of my part line. That helps me create a natural scalp appearance where otherwise my dark bio hair might show through the monofilament. Um, and I like to use the AWD Medical silicone scar sheets. I will leave that in my description box down below as well. So what we have here is a left mono part. Uh, you can move the part line around just a little bit, but it is a dedicated left part. And we have a beautiful extended lace front. You can see it comes maybe a third of the way down on the ear tabs on both sides. And I just love extended lace fronts. This allows you to style the wig away from the face and still have that appearance of natural hair growth all along that extended lace front. So I just think those are absolutely wonderful. Um, then we have a standard nape, not an extended nape, and bra strap style adjusters. Um, so you can adjust her to your circumference. And now I left these adjusters where they were and uh, I have a 22 inch circumference head and I will say this cap fits me very comfortably. Um, also, uh, we have the soft ear tabs with the metal stays inside and then the wefting, the open wefting on the back and on the sides. And this is a really nice and stretchy cap. So I just love this kind of a cap construction and I like to part my styles on the left. So this is absolutely perfect for me. And uh, I think overall, it's just a beautiful cap construction for Secret. So let's go ahead and do some styling. 
First, I want to change this part line, that zigzag part, and I did place that silicone scar tape underneath there again. I will try to just run this rat tail comb sort of down the center of that zigzag. And I'm already seeing a bit of scalp appearance there, which I really love. And I am still feeling that this is a little bit thick here at the front. So I, pro I will add some powder to that in a little while. Um, first, I do want to steam these fibers. They're actually, well, yes, they are falling forward in my face a bit. So I absolutely do want to steam this style in place and steam the fibers away from the face. So we will go ahead and uh, clip these fibers back so that they don't revert back to that zigzag when I take this off. All right, I'll put her on the blockhead and we'll start steaming. All right, so we're ready to do some steaming and I have Secret on the blockhead here. Um, I like to use the iSteam steamer. It's a handheld steamer from Amazon. Really any little handheld steamer would work well for this. Uh, and I have a video on my channel all about how to steam fibers away from the face and steam a new part in place. And I'll leave a link to that in the description box down below. So let's go ahead and the first thing we'll do is steam the part in place. All right, next I want to steam the fibers away from the face and I'll do the left side first and then the right. Be sure to direct the steam at the fibers, not at the delicate lace front or mono part areas and keep the steamer moving. Don't leave it in any one spot for more than three seconds. All right, that should do it. Now I'm going to let these fibers cool completely for the new style to set. I'll put her back on my head and we'll see if we like the results. The fibers are nice and cool now. Uh, they can be a little bit damp still, but just should be nice and cool. Let me go ahead and remove the clips. Okay. That is absolutely wonderful. That's how I like to style my wigs away from the face with just a little swoop in the front here, but also a little on the left side. I just find that is a very natural look. So I am absolutely loving that. Let's do a quick test. You can see the fibers really aren't flopping in my face much anymore. And, uh, I absolutely love that. So next I want to add a little bit of matte eyeshadow. I have a stiff painting brush and my NYX shadow palette. Let's go ahead and grab a little bit of powder and just add it to that part line first. And I do have that silicone scar sheet under there. So that helps the powder adhere a little bit and also stay in place when you're removing the wig and putting her back on so that you don't have to reapply every time you do that. Okay. And now that's, I think looking much better, but I still want to work on this little area here. I still feel like we have some wonderful light fibers in the front, but I see a dark line there. So I'm going to work on this. Hopefully this will work here in the camera. So I'm just going to move some fibers aside and really try to get in there a little bit. I think that's already a lot better. And if you feel that you've placed too much powder, you can always just pat it. Um, you can also take the scar tape off and reapply a new one. If you think you got too much and I may need to do that in this case, I am seeing that that powder is really sticking to the edge of that uh, scar tape. So I think I will do that. I think I'll take her off and put a new scar tape on there and get a good look at this close up. It's sometimes hard to see in the camera, but I think that's already looking better. I see less of a straight dark line. I am seeing a light line, <laughs> so I will do that and I'll be back and we'll see what that looks like. So I changed that scar tape and I did add a little more powder and I do think it looks a little bit better. If you look at that, 
you see less of a kind of stark dark line there behind the lighter fibers and I'll show you what I found really helps with this and of course you can always pluck as well very delicately you know but um, if I can use powder I prefer to do that rather than altering the style by completely removing knots but I just took a skinny little rat tail comb kind of the smallest one I have and really just you know separate out maybe the two front rows or just a few fibers and you can see that's where I apply the powder and then pull those down and then just apply a little bit of powder right behind that front line and that way it kind of you can see through there and it looks a little bit more like there's a, a thin hairline you know progressing to thicker hair which I think looks more natural for a hairline so I love that okay so we're almost there the next thing I want to do I want to use an, a plastic hot air brush and uh, I like to do that just to relax these flips a little you see um, I mean these are bouncy and perhaps you like this look but I just think it um, to me it sort of gives it away that that's a wig I think I prefer more of a, a relaxed look it can have a little bit of a bend but not this much certainly not this much I think I mentioned in a previous video um, I used to wear a bob style that had these kinds of flips and my son would refer the, to the fibers as uh, elephant tusks they reminded him of elephant tusks so not the look I'm going for so let's go ahead and I'll just uh, run her through and relax this a little bit I like to have it on high for these heat friendly synthetic fibers I do keep the brush moving All right, I think I will go ahead and let those fibers cool. I absolutely can see that this is more relaxed and uh, it's actually looking longer as well. And you can absolutely also use heat tools. Uh, I will leave some text as to what temperature um, Beltress recommends as the max temperature for their heat friendly synthetic fibers. So if you want even more of a, a change and if you really want to reverse this flip so that it goes inward a little bit more you could do that with a uh, flat iron or with a curling iron um, you could use different tools so but I think this is working for me now I think it's a, a little more relaxed which as I said will eventually uh, happen with the fibers over time but I like it to look as natural as possible right away so there we go I just love this kind of a beautiful sleek look we have that lovely part line and that lovely hairline now uh, absolutely wonderful so let's go ahead and compare these three styles we have drive by Ellen Villa in chocolate rooted and of course I'm wearing secret and then we have own the room in shaded cappuccino so I'll try to do this uh, side by side so you can see I will say that uh, Own the Room and Drive are a little bit longer than uh, Secret is and um, I think Own the Room has quite a few layers you can see around the face. Um, Secret has a few. Drive is almost all one length. Um, Drive is the straightest of the three. She has these kind of razored ends um, and just a gentle little bend in the fibers but um, not nearly as much as Own the Room, which is curled under a little bit, I think. And then, of course, with Secret, we have some of these flips that uh, I might want to relax a little bit more with a flat iron, I think. Um, but let's go ahead and do a spin and get a look, good look at these styles side by side. So here is the right side. And the left side. And let's do the back. All right, I hope you could see all of that. The density on all three styles is very similar. Of course, they are all heat-friendly synthetic fibers and uh, basically just beautiful sleek lob styles. They all have extended lace fronts. Drive has a center mono part, Own the Room and Secret have left mono parts. So those are the main differences uh, between these styles each absolutely beautiful and of course each brand has different color options so if you like one of these styles but wish that it came in a slightly different color it might be worth looking at the other two and seeing if there's a color in that brand that you prefer so I absolutely adore all three of these styles okay so let's look at some styling options uh, that we can achieve with secret here 
Uh, there is a lot you can do with a longer style like this, absolutely, uh, including a ponytail, which I can't wait to show you. But um, I think the easiest thing throughout the day is just a little ear tuck. I like a half tuck. I think that's cute. Um, you could also do a full tuck. I think it's low density enough that you can get away with that. And uh, I love that my bio hair matches that dark rooting there. Um, so that's a good look. I think a headband is always a good option and that's my preferred look throughout the day. And this will allow me to show you the coverage I'm getting. Okay, so here we have that lovely lace front and it goes, that extended lace front goes from here to here on me. So you can see you have that appearance of hair growth all along there, which I love. And then you are seeing some of my bio hair here. I'm bending the ear tabs up, if you can see that, and back down. And I can fit about a finger's width Maybe a little bit less, actually. That's a good amount of coverage from this style. Um, Beltres do tend to fit slightly larger than average. And as I mentioned, I have a 22 inch circumference. So yes, I mean, it's, it's tight for me to fit a finger between the ear tab and the top of my ear. So I think uh, that is really a nice amount of coverage on this style. Um, and yeah, a good look just to quickly pull those fibers away from the face and then remove it again when you're ready to show off this fabulous style. Um, let's go ahead and do a ponytail because I love that for the summertime. And I think you have just enough length with this one to make a really pretty ponytail. Uh, and my bio hair is tucked under for this one. All right, and I wrapped that hair tie three times. So that tells me that this is a fairly low density style. Now we have some of these shorter face framing pieces. I think it's pretty if you leave a little bit out. Make sure everything is nice and smooth. All right, let's get a good look at that from all sides. So as you can see, a very versatile little style, not too long, not too short, in my opinion, just about right. Um, and I absolutely think this is wonderful for the summertime. You can feel very cool, not feel any fibers around your neck at all, and still have that natural hairline. Um, I just love that. I absolutely think this is a, a beautiful style for summer. So next we'll go outside and get a good look at this beautiful color in natural light. Uh, again, the color is Mocha with Cream. The color code is 2R61336. And I'll read you the description. So it's a rich, darkest brown root. Absolutely a very dark root, actually. But uh, I think it makes it look very realistic. And then you have a blend of dark chocolate brown and cinnamon. Blend it in there. Uh, along with milk chocolate, cool blonde and light blonde highlights. So absolutely a lot going on in this color. I did try it before and I am a huge fan. Um, so here I have the sample from the coloring and uh, this will help you understand what all is going on in this color. So you have the dark rooting there as you can see. And then you have this darker brown. I'm not seeing a lot of that so it's just blended really well I think. And then you have the cinnamon and chocolate brown I think mixed here. And this is what I'm seeing a lot of, this kind of um, more of a red tone brunette. And then you have the beautiful blonde highlights. Again, blended, a little bit more of them here in the front along the hairline. So just a beautiful, beautiful color. Let's look at all the details here. There we have the lace front again. Get all the fibers pulled back, okay. You can see the lace front, beautiful uh, light knotting with the light fibers there. And uh, then we softened this with some powder. You could do more if you wanted uh, a little bit more of a thin uh, hairline here. You could pluck some uh, of the knots, but you have that part line that looks very realistic with the silicone under there and some matte eyeshadow. So very realistic. Let's get a good look at all these colors uh, and I'll do a quick spin. Here she is from the right and the back and the left. Absolutely a gorgeous color. One of my favorite brunette colors actually. And it reminds me a little bit 
of Henry Margu's 82726GR. Um, but of course these are heat friendly synthetic fibers and uh, it's a different color. I think the rooting is a little bit darker on the mocha with cream than it is on that Henry Margu color that I mentioned. So absolutely gorgeous. I love it. So final thoughts. The secret's out. This is a beautiful style. Uh, I absolutely love a sleek long bob style like this. Uh, I think it's very flattering and uh, gives you a styling options without uh, having too much length that you need to work with. Um, of course, these heat friendly synthetic fibers require a little more maintenance than synthetic fibers do, but the payoff is that you have fibers that are a little less shiny um, and very natural looking. Uh, I think this is just very pretty. You have a few face framing pieces, not a lot, just a few here and there. Um, and I think that just is flattering around the face and gives it some nice movement. Um, you do have these flips in the beginning that you will either, if you like that, I guess you would just leave it or you want to work to relax a little bit. And I will probably do more of that here as well. Um, and yeah, just very, very pretty low density. You can easily do an ear tuck or a ponytail. Um, so very pretty. I love the extended lace front. So you have that natural looking hairline and uh, appearance of hair growth all along that beautiful parting space. It is a little uh, thick here where the dark fibers start, that progression from the lighter to the darker fibers. Um, I feel like it could maybe be thinned out a little bit. After filming, I did end up plucking the part a little bit. I'll leave a video for how I like to do that in the description box. This color, Mocha with Cream, I'm a huge fan. Um, I just love it. Uh, I loved it on Destiny and I love it on Secret. Uh, I think it's a beautiful, rich, um, warm brunette color with lots of interesting you know, shades of blonde and red and brunette going on and then that very natural rooting. Uh, it's just a gorgeous color. So overall, I love the color. I love the style. And as always, I hope that my review has been helpful and informative. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.